necessarily think that I understood the magnitude of what I was doing until that first or second day when we had people stopping, when people were sharing their stories, and we had people basically pulling us off the road to give us hugs, to give us donations, to share their stories. I don't think that I really understood the magnitude of what I was doing. You're not just representing your family, you're representing so many people, and the overwhelming amount of people that came out today to show their support and walk with us. It's just, it's just been really empowering experience. I'm not sure that either of us understood the magnitude of what was about to take place from a physical perspective, from an emotional perspective, from a human touching perspective. Hi guys! Thanks for being here! I thought it was really inspirational that she decided to make a change not only for herself to survive for her healing journey, but for other people in order to heal as well. Just to see how proud she was to do it for other people, not worrying about herself any longer, but moving on and helping others. There are just countless numbers of stories and you know, it, they just kept me going. And those were some of the more trying, you know, things because it does weigh on you. Um, but you know, that's what keeps you going. That's what kept reminding me why I'm doing this. I'm so proud of everything we've accomplished. I can't believe we've made it this far. But not just for me, for everybody that's been with us. Everybody we're walking for. And you have mobilized an effort and a cause uh, that is greater than self. And because of your heart and your inspiration to all of us, we are here today. Every day that I was out there and every day that I will continue, I will remember that I don't just walk for myself. I walk not only for the 39 million children and, and families and women and men out there every day who are, who are survivors of childhood sexual abuse, and not just for the people who I met out there. I'm walking for so, so, so many more people who I have not met yet, and so many people who may not even be abused yet. If we haven't ever had the experience, we really can't walk in your shoes. But when someone walks 500 miles to share a story and open the doors for so many to walk through it, what we can do is walk in your path. Now, all of Florida, for years to come, we'll be walking in a brighter, clearer, safer path because of what you have done, Lauren. We thank you. What Lauren has done, which I think is truly tremendous, is not only has she brought awareness uh, to this very difficult issue, but I believe as a result of what she's done, she has ensured the protection of so many people. I just have noticed, especially this month, so many more people coming forward to talk about the situations they've experienced, testifying in committees, and just the, the real momentum behind this work has increased so much based on the work that Lauren's been doing. It's really gratifying to see people who've never before paid attention to the crime of sexual violence listen to the voices of survivors and actually have that happen when for years and years and years you couldn't get anybody to talk about it is very gratifying and it's it feels like the tide is shifting the tide is changing and Lauren and Ron are the wind. I'm proud of my daughter, proud of uh, her commitment to helping other people, proud of her willingness to share her story and not allow shame and embarrassment to be something that um, keeps her um, from helping to protect others and, and to make a difference. Some of the things that we want to do in the future is to continue to grow and develop our curriculum, get it into more and more schools because prevention is key. And um, I think next year to continue our walk and be a presence out there for survivors where we can try and affect change and try and make a difference and really get change on a national level.